How good is this hunter? Let's find out. Hello Fanatics, I'm Dylan Phillips and this is the Film Fanatic Review bringing you The Legacy of a White-Tailed Deer Hunter, starring Josh Brolin, Danny McBride, and Montana Jordan. First, we'll tell you what the movie is about, and our initial thoughts. Then we'll move on to our spoiler-free likes and dislikes. We'll finish up with some spoiler-heavy thoughts on this film, and our final word. The Legacy of a White-Tailed Deer Hunter follows the story of the great hunter Buck Ferguson and his trusted cameraman Don, who set out on an epic weekend adventure to reconnect with Buck's young son. Overall, this was a fairly forgettable film. It ends up becoming an SNL sketch that overstays its welcome. For what I liked about this film, let's start off with the best part, the lead performance. Josh Brolin brings a layered, conflicted performance as he's able to portray a father who forces his own image and ideals onto his son without caring about what is going on in his son's life. He could have easily felt like a caricature, but Brolin brings enough character to this melancholy macho man. Danny McBride also does a great job as the comedic sidekick, although he's severely underused. The premise of this film is a great concept as it looks to be a satirization of gun culture paired with hunting documentaries, leading to what one can only assume would be some hilarious antics and over-the-top gestures. However, what comes from this premise is a spineless rough attempt at a story as it tries to extend what could have been a sketch into a feature-length film. The themes it tries to tackle lose traction as the story diverts away from the hilarious antics of the opening sequence. It could have hit some very emotional beats between Buck and his son, but every time it goes that way, it never quite hits its mark and diverts back to this bland story. In fact, the film is tonally all over the place, and it makes you question what the filmmakers were trying to go for. The story could have been a lot darker or satirical to tackle the themes and topical issues it was so clearly putting at the center of its narrative, but instead it opted to be a film that waded down a lazy river rather than go head first into the rapids. And that's where I'll end our spoiler free thoughts on this film. If you want to hear our final word or rating of this film, pause now and click the link in the description, because now it's time for spoilers. No spoilers to talk about for this one, but the best scenes to me were the opening hunting montage and when Don gets shot. So, with the thoughts heard, here's our final word. The Legacy of a White-Tailed Deer Hunter is a comedy that finds itself questioning what kind of comedy it wants to be. While it centers on a phenomenal Josh Brolin performance, the story finds itself lacking any genuine comedy, emotion, or consistent tone, making this slow, drawn-out look at an estranged relationship one that fires blanks. This film becomes another in a long list of Netflix films that feel more like they should be background filler, if anything. So I'm gonna give The Legacy of a White-Tailed Deer Hunter a three and a half. Thanks everyone for watching our review. Are you planning on seeing The Legacy of a White-Tailed Deer Hunter? Or if you've already seen it, do you have something to add? What did you think of the story? Let us know in the comments below. I'm Dylan Phillips and this has been The Film Fanatic Review. If you like this video and you want to see more, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Check out our latest If You Liked video where we recommend movies similar to the film, Unsane. Don't forget to follow us on our social media. And until next time, fanatics, keep it real.